then bishop c4. I mean, I probably should have played something f4. Yeah, that looks like a nice move. So the idea is, if you come here, I just take it. And then I play here. And then if you play here, oh, well, I better go to see the seventh. Or actually, since I don't need to go to, I I thought I was thinking that the idea was that knight c6, but really I just have take this guy, and then I'm open pawn. I mean you could take this back, but I'll just bring it, the bishop back here, and this this rook is a goner. Or you give up a pawn, so I don't need to go to the seven three point really. Maybe I just play bishop to d3. Good move. Idea. Just f5. Well, what is he gonna do? Knight c6. I just take it. Take it. Oops. Not that move. New mainland. Yeah. And, well, this guy is. gone. I mean, you could. Sure, I'll, I'll give you this pawn. But I don't. I don't really. I don't. I want it, but you know, I'm not gonna die over it. I mean, look, this knight is attacked, so he has to go back, and then I just take it. I think I'll just. I could play bishop d2, but I was thinking maybe. Well, it's not that. This is just. Maybe just g4. This is just clearly a better position for white. Back to the main line. Bishop c4. Whoa, whoops. That's what I like to call it because it really was. And actually, during the game, I was thinking I had even seen that move, and I. After I played this move, I just. Buried my hands in my face and said, Oh boy, I blew this one. So, c5. I defended the pawn. I mean, I don't think there's much I could have done here. Knight e4, just taking advantage of the fact that the rook, uh, the pawn, bishop can't be taken because the rook will come off the board. So, bishop b4, rook d3. Trying to bait him into taking the a5 pawn. At this point, I think he's better. At this point, he's the advantage probably is in his hands. I think knight d5 is a reasonable move. And then I would, oops, oops, I would take with the bishop. Or, yeah, because if I take with the, oops. Bishop, new variation. I can run into this. All sorts of problems. So, rook d4, and then I run into this problem. Actually, we don't want to do that because we don't want to lose our rook on d7. So, you just take off this pawn. Seems like a fair thing to do. And I don't see where I'm going to get some sort of counterplay for that pawn. I think at this point, knight c5 is probably forced. Just take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. And I don't know. This is a complicated endgame. I just like black here at this point. 
I don't know. This I see a situation where these two pawns become very powerful. Oh look, even if he did, if these three pawns were off the board, we took off these, oops, the the minor pieces. This is still a draw. He just plays here, he plays here, and his king goes here, and I can't do much. I'm afraid that I can't do anything. This is a draw. So we go back. Played here. 